Welcome to the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum here in Cooperstown, New York. I'm Craig Muter, Director of Communications, and I'm here with John O'Dell, our Curator of History and Research, and we are combing the collection today. You know, last time here on Combing the Collection, we talked about FanFest and some of the artifacts we bring every year to the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. This time, we're going to do something a little different. Because the game's in Kansas City this year, we've got some Kansas City artifacts that fans are going to get to see during All-Star Fan Fest. That's right, Craig. Each year when we go to All-Star uh, Fan Fest, like you said, we, we bring along a certain number of items that, uh, that run the gamut of our own collection here at the Baseball Hall of Fame. But we always like to make it a little bit special for the host city and for the host uh, team. And so uh, each year we look through, come through our own collection to find items that will be of particular interest to all the fans from that city who are coming to the Fan Fest. Uh, just a, a little bit of a, a special gift to them. Uh, and it's a wonderful treat for us too to be able to go through our collection. We'll start out with this silk jersey over here from 1938 from the American Association All-Star Game. That's right, 1938 American Association All-Star Game, the Kansas City Blues had a ball, had a ball player named Bid Breeze and this was his uniform and so the uh, American Association a special game and the the, the visiting team and that was uh, Bid Breeze was on the visiting team wore these amazing red white and blue uniforms which are made out of satin because it was a night game and so they were uh, the, the team was all dressed up in satin so that they would reflect really really well at night but this is one of those Kansas City links that we're bringing uh, to the uh, to the all-star game and to the fan fest well Kansas City has such a great connection to the Negro Leagues as well and I see a couple of Negro Leagues artifacts down here yeah you know Kansas City is the sort of the spiritual home of Negro Leagues baseball because of the uh, the Negro Leagues Museum uh, there in Kansas City uh, and we thought that it would be just perfectly appropriate to bring some of our Negro Leagues and African American story items when we came to Kansas City. So uh, I have a selection here of a couple of things. Uh, this is uh, one of the great center fielders of all time, one of the fastest ball players ever, Cool Papa Bell's glove. Uh, from the latter part of his career, uh, Cool Papa Bell, just an amazing, amazing ball player who played over 20 years in the Negro Leagues. Uh, by the time uh, Desegregation is coming along. Uh, cool Papa Bell was out of the game by that time, but uh, certainly one of the great ball players ever. And this is a, this is a glove from him. We also have a, a bat as well from another Negro League great, Buck Leonard, uh, and that's this Louisville Slugger bat right here. Uh, a bat that Buck Leonard used during his uh, the latter part of his career as well. Uh, nothing special about the game. It's not a, uh, a, a tremendous home run. All it is was from. Buck Leonard, hey, this was a bat that I used to use back in the day, and uh, and that's just wonderful. Buck Leonard was a wonderful Hall of Famer, and you know the the obstacles that the Negro Leaguers had to overcome were so intense during that period. And we have an artifact right here, these tickets that really demonstrate uh, what all these folks were overcoming. Well, that's right. the the uh, The story of the Negro Leagues is not simply the story of that league. It's the story here at the Baseball Hall of Fame of the African-American baseball experience. And the truth of the matter is that uh, black ball players and black fans, just like white ball players and white fans, loved the game of baseball. And they would do anything to go out and play the game. Uh, African-American ball players created their own leagues. African-American fans couldn't create their own leagues. They had to go see whatever games were in town. This is a, a, an amazing uh, ticket from Eastman, Georgia from the 1950s. And it, if you look very closely on it, you'll notice that it says colored on it. This was for the, as they called it that day, the colored section of the ballpark for that minor league ballpark. African-Americans getting this ticket to go sit out in the special area. Sometimes, as here, it was a special area that was denoted. Other times it was simply by tradition. This is where the African-Americans could sit. You don't get a chance to stare racism very often in the face. This is one of the things that we allow people to do here at the Baseball Hall of Fame. An amazing piece of history, and that's what we're all about here in Cooperstown. History of, of the country and, of course, history of the game. And we're looking at a couple of Kansas City Royals artifacts here with us. Uh, Mr. Brett's jersey looks very familiar. Yeah, this is George Brett's jersey from 1983. George Brett, of course, in many ways is the uh, is the face of the Kansas City Royals. Uh, I think that there's probably no ball player who's more associated with the Kansas City Royals than George Brett, statistical leader and 
so many batting categories. Uh, one of the all-time greatest third basemen ever to play the game. Uh, and obviously, uh, you know, there's no way that you can go to Kansas City and bring artifacts without having something from George Bratt. And he was a teammate of his uh, that, that played with him right in the same infield with those Royals teams, Frank White. We have an artifact from him. That's right. This is a bat from uh, from an All-Star game that uh, that Frank White wielded. And I don't remember the year right now. Do you remember the year? 86, maybe. I think it's 86. And uh, the, he had a home run uh, and a tremendous, uh, tremendous event, tremendous opportunity for us to bring uh, a little bit more history of, of a non-Hall of Famer to, uh, to Kansas City. We are so looking forward to going out to Kansas City in a couple weeks. John, we're going to summon the spirit of the Beatles here. You ready? Kansas City. Kansas City, here we come. Oh, Are you ready? You're great, man. Let's go with it. Thanks for joining us on Coming the Collection. Visit us online, baseballhall.org.